Hi guys, today I'm going to give you the tour of our uh, 170 square foot off the grid tiny house. Um, it's off the grid because it has uh, eight 320 watt um, solar panels up on the roof and it has a backup generator as well. It actually generates more power than you need and you'll end up putting back into the grid. Um, this is the master bedroom window. Um, this is the heater air conditioner and then I'll just kind of walk around the trailer and show you the inside as well. So it's got five jack points to level the trailer. Um, this is the other window here for the master bedroom. It's got another one on the other side. Um, it's got board and batten siding um, and shaker siding on the top. So just walking down this big window right here goes into the kitchen. Um, looks out over the sink. Uh, these two uh, man doors here, these little maintenance doors. This one is actually a water door. So you've got a 120 gallon aluminum water tank and then you also have just a connection where you can plug in a hose for water. This is your hot water heater. It's an unlimited uh, on-demand hot water heater system so you can just take as much long showers as you want. It's awesome. It runs on propane. It works really well. Um, got another jack here. Again you got a bathroom window up here for ventilation. Um, and we'll just show you the back of the trailer. Back of the trailer has just an 8700 watt um, gas generator that's here. It would actually run the trailer by itself, run the whole tiny house by itself. But of course the solar does a good enough job. I um, mean it is on wheels, it can pull all the way out. Um, over here you got just two uh, storage boxes that lock uh, just for storage. Board and batten siding all the way on the back side of the trailer. I don't know if you can see over here but you've got just a little stainless steel um, flue pipe for your um, for your wood burning fireplace that I'm going to show you on the inside. So that's what it looks like. Let's go on and check out this side here. So on this side here, um, again, you've got the two jacks for leveling the trailer, and then um, you got a window up here for the bed bedroom looking out, and then you've got another window in the very front. For, um, for the master bedroom. Um, if you look up, up above right here, there used to be a light. Um, I took it down just for travel. It just didn't used to be there. It plugs right back in. And then right here, there's also a doorbell. I took that down for travel too. So I took down the, the light and the doorbell. The doorbell is one of those ring doorbells that, um, it's one of the smart doorbells. When someone walks by you, the front door it will turn on, send you a, a, an alert on your phone. Let you know someone's at your door and you can talk to them, see them through the doorbell. It's one of the ring doorbells. Those are pretty cool. But anyways, um, doors all electronic, so the locks are all electronic. So to get in, um, I'll just kind of show you how that goes. So I'll put in your code, press the button, unlocks the door, and that is a deadbolt door, by the way. All right, here we are inside the tiny house. Here, we'll just flip on the lights. Uh, so, as I said, everything's off the grid. This is running 100% on batteries um, off the grid, and of course, it um, it can't. All the plugs work just like normal. So, here it is. I'll just kind of do a little pan real fast, so you can kind of see what's what. Um, So basically, uh, we'll just start in here first. So this is the master bedroom. Um, up on the light switch there, looks like I left it on. Um, the, uh, the lights are all LED in here, you got some sconces. Um, this is kind of the, the whole master setup. Got a huge window in the front, two on the side as I showed you before. Um, storage up above cabinet storage for blankets or pillows or whatnot um, it's got a huge old 40 inch flat screen TV in here um, and then of course it's got the, these cool barn doors um, so yeah that's basically it this is just a, the master bedroom just big enough for sleeping and watching TV and lounging on the couch this folds up as a couch but also folds down to a full bed and um, cool spot during the summer because the air conditioner heater is just right behind this couch. Just warms up and cools this room pretty nice. Um, 
So moving in here, you've got your uh, kitchen and guest bedroom. Um, we'll start up here. You've got storage, cabinets. Um, this is a uh, convection oven, so you can cook cookies in it, pizzas, pies. I mean, anything you can do in a regular house, you can do in this little guy. It's pretty awesome, Samsung. Um, also microwaves as well. Uh, down below, you got just a little seat. This folds up. You got storage under here. Um, let me just back up here and show you this wall. This is our uh, just our kind of our crazy, uh, crazy wall here. It's got this cool picture and uh, these four by four uh, cut down um, wood pieces, stained wood pieces. So this is actually a table also. So you just pull this off and then this little thing pops out. The whole thing just comes down. Um, I just did it with one hand, so I mean it's pretty easy to put up and put down. And then you uh, grab these little boxes over here, pull them out, and you can put them on this side and sit over there and sit four people there, play cards, eat food, whatnot. And uh, then it just goes back up when you're all done, save space. Um, and then this just kind of hooks back through here. It's cool because these little boxes you can move them around. Uh, like I said, put storage in them because they're hollow and then just kind of put your feet up and use them for that sort of deal. Um, you've got your uh, your kitchen area here. This is your um, fridge, uh, freezer, so it's actually a combination of both. And then this sink is uh, stainless, pretty deep as well. Real tile, got a little TV for the kitties to sit up here and watch while mom's cooking or um, this is also on a swivel and kind of moves around. Um, this is an induction cooktop. Um, so you can, um, oh, oops, I was going to turn on the TV for you. Um, it's unplugged. So you can cook on the induction cooktop in, I mean, literally in a couple of minutes. These things are awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever used those before. Um, there's the TV. Like I said, everything runs on batteries right now. Um, so, but everything just runs, you know, like normal. Um, here's our, just a little wood burning fireplace. Um, so this just opens up and you put the wood in, it's imported. And so we had this custom stainless steel flue made for it, double walled and it's awesome. Good little fireplace. This is where you keep like your wood and all your stuff for your, for your wood fireplace. You know, your little pokers and things like that. Um, the TV, I just have it on this antenna. I didn't get any shows just then, but, um, I'll usually move this antenna around to get better shows. Uh, here's a little light for the sink. Like I said, sorry, I'm going so fast. Just trying to show you guys everything. Um, I can, um, here's the beds, the bunk beds. These are awesome because they actually fold up flat against the wall. And, and it's really easy. You just fold down these little bars underneath the mattresses. And if it didn't have pillows, I'd just show you real quick. It just folds up on the wall. Uh, and then you just use these little Velcro straps to just to hold it up against the wall. It's pretty awesome. It's really easy to put up and down. It takes like 10 seconds. Um, this is a CO2 smoke detector. Um, it's one of the Nest ones, you know, lets you know what's going on on your phone. It texts you. Um, here's a big old storage drawer right here. I can show you this if you want. Goes way out. I've got some soaps and shampoos and stuff in there. But, um, then you've got your bathroom. Um, tile floor, real tile. And then I don't know if you've seen these dry flush toilets, but they're awesome. I'll just show you how it works real quick. Press the flush button. So these things are pretty awesome. You can just do your liquid solids in there and it just wraps everything up and then it doesn't smell. It pulls it down to the bottom. So they're, they're amazing. Um, and then you don't have to worry about water freezing. Um, there's your light switch, another plug for hair dryers, things like that. Um, here's your basket for towels, window going to the outside for ventilation. And of course you've got your um, lights and your mirror and this is my favorite spot 
uh, is the bathtub. You can just crank this thing on, hot water, on demand, hot water, and you've got this cool tall wall you can just lean against. It's just kind of a smaller bathtub, but it is, yeah, metal, and it's got the shower head too. That's like a rain shower. It's pretty, pretty cool, but... All in all, that kind of concludes our tiny house tour. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry to go so fast. I'm sure you wanted me to kind of look around more, but um, all in all, it's uh, this is our off-the-grid um, tiny house, 170-square-foot tiny house. Um, it's, is, it does have all the the solar stuff in here. It kind of can turn things on and off in here. Um, this is pretty cool too because it will actually tie into the grid and um, like I said it will put power back into the grid and power company credits you for it. So it does have a couple other little gadgets I didn't talk about. Um, you know it does have um, you know smart locks and things like that. Uh, some of it I talked about but um, overall it's just a cool little cool little place to relax and uh, to get away. Great for a cabin or for your primary house so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good day